Hey YouTube, this is Discount Geeks with a quick video on this is on Python code and what I'm going to try to make here is a countdown. So what you will put in is the number, say any number from one to whatever, and it will count down back to zero. So say for instance if you put in a hundred, it will count down from a hundred back to zero. All right, this code is pretty simple. We'll try to do it. I'll try to explain how this works. So first in Python, what you want to do is define a procedure. We're going to call this procedure countdown. And so just to make any procedure in Python, you start off with the def command, which means define. And then you just type in whatever you want to call it. I can call it countdown. 57 if I wanted to it doesn't matter it's just um, you can give it the name next you want to put in the variable and this is going to be enter inside of quotations and this is what we're gonna what they call pass into the program here so countdown in and at the end if you want to uh, see the code you will say like print countdown and where it ends at, that's where you will put your number at. All right, so next you will put a colon and this is gonna let it know that, hey, you're gonna try to define a procedure here. So this is the name of it. Next, we're gonna put the code in here. I'm gonna start off, and this is a loop and it's called the while loop. I'm just say while in Is greater than or equal to zero print in and in I'm going to assign in this operator right here and I'll tell you why here in a second Down. I'm just going to use a number like uh, I'm just going to use 10 to start off with I'm going to have it print bye bye a string here Okay, so this is the code right here, and I'm going to explain this to you. So what I'm doing here is defining a procedure. The procedure is called countdown, and the variable that we're going to be passing in here is n. So whatever n is, you can see how this, I made n 10 right here. So this relates to this. Then you put a colon on the end of it and this lets you know that you're about to enter into the procedure I'm using while and what you do after while you're gonna say while this certain condition is met being met so the condition here is n is greater than or equal to zero while that's going on I need you to print n so n is going to be changing because n is going to start at 10 here. What this operator is going to do is going to say whatever n equals, it's going to take one away from it. So when we put in countdown as 10, so it's telling us that n equals 10. Okay, so that's true. So what we're going to do is subtract one from it. And that's going to change 10 to 9. So the, var the variable n will change to 9. And then it's going to run this again. It's going to run this again and say, oh, n equals 9. We're going to take another one away from it. So every time it sees a number, 
an n greater than zero, it's going to take one away from it. So this is what this this is what this subtraction assignment really means. Whatever it sees that n is, it's going to take one away from it. It doesn't matter. It could be x. It could be anything. Don't get hung up on the n. It doesn't really mean anything. It doesn't mean number. So I'll even just show you. I'll just change the n to x, just because these little things people get hung up on, which doesn't matter. So that means that now. The thing I got to tell you with Python is Python is heavy on indentation and being case sensitive. For for example, you see while right here. If I put in a capital W, it's not going to work anymore. You see how I just changed to regular text? But if I put lowercase, it's going to make it blue, which means it knows that that's an operator within Python. Uh, so indentation is big. If I If I back this out, over here and put it like that try to test run I get all these kind of errors here unexpected indent the error messages are pretty pretty concise but they can get a little um, abstract so if you're just starting out in Python then what I gotta tell you is just watch your indentation read the errors they're pretty good but watch your indentation and your capitalization those are two big things just starting out that will get you hung up for a long time. Also, I recommend uh, Stack Overflow going out there and dealing with other guys in the community that are doing this stuff. This is a good way to learn how to do um, different functions and assignments and make your own programs. Also, quick a quick way to learn this stuff is to really just reverse engineer it. So take some Python code. Maybe you can go out there to Stack Overflow and get some code that you want to learn how to do and kind of reverse engineer or make it do something else kind of close to what it was already doing. That can help you to break these problems down and help you understand it quicker. So that's all I want to do today. We'll do the run here. Let's do a test run and see what happens here. Test run. And that's not defined. You see, I just got an error right here. It says, uh, global name n is not defined. Well, I left n right here. I should have had x right there because I just changed everything to x. Test run. There it is. 10987654321010. And it says bye bye. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll probably post some more videos the deeper I get into Python, but this is just one quick little problem that you can do to kind of help you understand what Python can do and some of the capabilities of it. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.